Salutations, Celestial Sightseers. I'm David Fuller from Eyes on the Sky. The Great Andromeda Galaxy is well-named, and I tend to prefer it over Messier 31. If we could see it in full with just our eyes in a completely dark sky, it would span nearly six full moons across, about three full degrees of sky. And when you aim a telescope at this galaxy, you are peering towards the collective light of around one trillion stars. Additionally, the light from that galaxy has traveled two and a half million light years of distance. Or put another way, photons moving at the speed of light took two and a half million years to cross the vastness of space and complete their journey on the retina of your eye as you view this galaxy tonight. You really are looking back in time. And the Great Andromeda Galaxy is the closest spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way. There are billions more like it too. Space is indeed vastly, mind-bogglingly big. This is how you can find this amazing galaxy in the night sky. To find the Andromeda Galaxy, first look for the Great Square of Pegasus. Begin at the star Alpha Rats in the constellation Andromeda the Princess. Her stars extend outward from the Great Square, and the three brightest are of second magnitude and are about 15 degrees apart from each other much like the Great Square is. If you're not sure where to look for it, check out my Shapes in the Sky Great Square of Pegasus video for how to find it. A link to that is in the description of this video. We are going to look for the middle star of the three, known as Myrak, to both help with Finder Scope and Red Dot Finder users. Because at Myrak, you will make a 90 degree turn. Keep that in mind if you're using a typical finder scope, you will be moving the telescope in this direction. But the stars will appear to go the opposite way because the field of view is reversed left to right and up and down. I will show that view in a moment. For those with red dot finders, look halfway between those first two second magnitude stars for third magnitude Delta Andromedae. It is eight degrees from Myrak. And be sure to remember that distance. A line from Delta and then a right angle turn at Myrak will get us to the galaxy. More on the detailed star hop coming up. With a reversed image magnified finder scope, Center the star Myrak in the field of view, and then move just a little towards Cassiopeia in the north. This is that 90 degrees off the Myrak Delta direction. A small movement should bring the fourth magnitude star, Mu Andromedae, into the field of view, while Myrak is still there. The star Mu is the halfway point to the galaxy, and these two stars are the exact line you will follow to find the galaxy itself. So, simply hop the four degrees from Myrak to Mu, and then another four degrees from Mu to the galaxy. When you move Mu past center and Myrak is just out of the field of view, you may even see M31 in your finder scope. Center that area, and then use a long focal length eyepiece in your main telescope to center the central portion of the galaxy. Now for telescopes with a red dot finder, look at the distance between Delta Andromedae and Myrak of eight degrees. Now imagine that line and make a 90 degree angle towards the galaxy another eight degrees, the exact same distance of Delta Andromedae to Myrak. And place your red dot finder there, right here. In a long focal length eyepiece with a wide field of view, the galaxy should be visible. As always, start with low magnification to center the object first and then increase it as you wish. For this particular object, low magnification is usually preferred. There's a bonus here too, as the companion galaxy to Messier 31 is often visible, 
Messier 32. For more information on that, as well as sketches of what you can actually expect to see at the eyepiece, visit the Telescopes on the Sky section of eyesonthesky.com and look for object number one, the Andromeda Galaxy Messier 31. And if you liked this video and it helped you find this object successfully, check out the other 39 Telescopes on the Sky objects. I'll lead you step by step to the best and easiest objects to find from the Northern Hemisphere. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button just below this video to the right on YouTube. I make regular updates on how to find all kinds of interesting objects in the sky, naked eye, with binoculars, telescopes, and occasional reviews too, and have since 2010. Thanks for watching. I'm David Fuller, wishing you clear and dark skies.